Plasticity is a CAD-like program I use, which is for artists. I just start clicking whatever buttons. I don't know why I made this. I just made it, and then I printed it. Tighten things up with a few bolts. And then I showed one of my friends who fights in the UFC. Whoa, 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 chill. I guess I'll make a quick tutorial. One of the first things I learned was this hollow out feature. It creates like an instant shell of whatever shape I'm doing. You can make a thick, thin, thick, thin. All right, let's delete it. I was at World Market and I saw these balls on top of balls. $14.99, hell no. Draw a quick sphere, make it into an oval, line cut the top, grab the face and hollow. I'll duplicate one of my curves, loft it, close edge, turn it upside down. Draw a sphere, oval it, rotate it. They're just overlapping one another. I'll duplicate it, twist, rotate. I have it set to use the same keys as Blender. For Q, I can Boolean or Union. Grab all the curves and then fillet them. Draw a line and hit C for cut. And then hollow it out. Next, I'll export it and then name it Vase Balls. Usually I print everything in step file, but I'll print it in STL. Step file is more cleaner. So I have geometry like this. I can increase the density of the geometry to one, hit enter and then okay. Open up any cubic slicer, which is orca based. And then I'll use a colorful filament like this one from Sunlu. Close up the dry box. Actually, I never printed an STL file from Plasticity. At first I purchased the software and then I reached out and I asked for an affiliate code and they gave me one. Of course, use a free version first in any program to see which one you're more comfortable in. But for 10% off in Plasticity, use my code STEALTHY. Let's pop it off the build plate. Next time I'll stay with the step file. When I get more comfortable with the program, I'll make longer tutorials.